is going to be your general reading for January 15th through the 31st. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. All right, guys, if you are looking specifically for a love reading, there are a ton of those posted already on my channel. Um, there's an entire month of January. There's singles and there are weeklies as well. If it tries to come out here, obviously I'll talk about it, but it's not going to be my focus today. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. Okay, so you're coming in this week here in the Three of Wands, crossed by the Queen of Swords. So preparing for the future, you could be planning some kind of travel. Queen of Swords, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you could be traveling with an air sign, traveling to an air sign, um, or this could just be you taking on this energy. You could be doing some public speaking, some writing. Let's get one on that. Oh, the magician. Maybe you're manifesting some kind of travel plans here. And the nine of pentacles could have to do with your job. The nine of pentacles, though, is very independent, financially wealthy, um, abundant. It, it can also indicate like a single person, like you might be single or whatever. Again, I'm going to try to stay away from love, but it is my single lady card. And the queen of swords can indicate like a divorced person. Um, anyway, so with having the queen of swords there, it's you kind of cutting out the bullshit in your life, getting rid of what doesn't serve you, um, manifesting your future the way that you want it. And you are manifesting a ton of money here. Okay. In your foundation, you have the Ace of Swords. This is a breakthrough happening for you. It's like an epiphany. Um, it can be new communication coming in for you or just something that, you know, you just kind of woke up one day with this newfound clarity about a certain situation in your life. And the full Aries, there you are showing up in your own reading. Um, so it's like something just hit you one day, like, I need to go. I need this new beginning. I need to start something completely different. It can also be, a, you know, another card of travel here. It's taking a risk. Page of Swords. So it might have come from somebody, um, like you, you might have gotten like some kind of message from somebody that kind of brought forth either like a new idea for you, some new clarity, um, the opportunity for a new beginning, the opportunity for travel, maybe moving uh, for your job or whatever. Page of Swords can also indicate uh, like stalkery kind of behavior. Um, you know, like you watching somebody's social media and discovering something, somebody watching yours and discovering something, and it kind of fueled you to look at this new beginning now. Um, Again, I'm trying to stay away from love, but it could definitely be that. Your recent past year of the world, this is closing out a cycle. It's leveling up. It's evolution. You've completed something that you worked on for a long time, whether it's a project, a job, or just a cycle of your life. Um, and now you're ready for this whole new journey. And now up there crowning, you have the two of wands. Again, another one that could indicate travel. This is about you being at a crossroads. It's pick your path card. What's this two of wands? The seven of wands. That's being defensive, guarded, protecting yourself or protecting something here. Let's see, what is this all about? The nine of cups, protecting your happiness. It's like you have to go in a different direction to protect your happiness. Nine of cups is wish fulfillment, it's you being content, being fulfilled, but there's a need to kind of protect that. And in order to do so, it's, you're kind of trying to go in a different direction here. In the future though, you've got the five of swords. So somebody isn't happy about what you're doing here. This, <laughs> this is conflict. This is petty back and forth, arguing, trash talking. What is this five of swords? What is this five of swords for Aries? The 
Five of Wands, another drama card, competition, jealousy. Um, let's see, why? Why do you have all this drama here coming in your future? I think because you're going down a different path and, and somebody's like pissed at you for it or kind of jealous. The Emperor Reverse, what? All right, well now you're coming up reversed in your own reading. This is your energy, it's reversed. Um, this is in your future. So you could be dealing with somebody who's really controlling, demanding, uh, potentially abusive. This can be like a shitty boss, father figure. Um, but I think it's really all this drama is kind of taking you out of your power. It's like, it's kind of like consuming your energy, making you feel like out of control. And the Nine of Swords, anxiety, depression. Yeah, you know, there's some kind of conflict here that you're letting get to you. And it's causing you to lose sleep and feel like trash. The Four of Cups. So, apathy, contemplation, um, indifference. So, I think it's kind of just the need to separate yourself from this potential conflict coming in and just kind of um, be indifferent to it. Whatever the drama is, whoever's pissed at you for taking a new direction in your life, whatever, that's on them. All right, you're also coming in as a four of pentacles here. So this is you holding on really tightly to something or uh, it's the need to watch your spending. Let's get one on the four of pentacles. The 10 of swords. All right, Aries, so there's a painful ending happening for you here, and you might be holding on to some kind of hurt here. And it might have something to do with finances. Let's see. You know, you could be like going through something that's caused a lot of anxiety, depression, and, that, and you have that Seven of Wands and the Four of Pentacles being really guarded, being really closed off. But what's this Ten of Swords? The Eight of Wands reversed. All right, so it can be that something was stagnant and had to end. Um, if this is love for you, it, it can definitely be somebody eating, like talking to a lot of people online or something. And the hanged man reversed. All right. So there's a need for you to look at a situation from a different perspective. Look at it from a different angle so that you're better able to heal it. Okay. Um, in your environment, you have judgment here. So it could be like a legal situation around you involving you, involving somebody that you're close to. Um, but this can also be a reevaluation, like somebody around you might be kind of reevaluating something as it pertains to you, can be a reconciliation if this is love, um, but it's on their part. It would be them kind of looking at it again. It's also about like a higher calling, a higher calling, divine intervention, all that. Your hopes and fears, you have the King of Pentacles. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, there could be an earth sign that is relevant in your life. You could just be hoping for more stability, financial stability, stability around the home. This can be commitment as well. If this is love for you, you could be, be just hoping for like a stronger commitment here. Um, but I think it's, it's mostly financial for you because you are in that Nine of Pentacles. And the Eight of Swords. So, um... Guys, you don't have to feel like you are stuck to anything. Even if it's like a job, if you feel like restricted because of your job, because of your finances, this is just mental. This is in your head. It's not real. Scram, lay down, honey. Um, so this is the need to kind of like stop overanalyzing a situation. Don't overthink it. Come out of this paranoia, this stuck kind of energy because it's really just in your head. Your outcome is the Nine of Cups, or not the Nine of Cups. The Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups right here. <laughs> All right, Knight of Cups is Younger Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So you could have a Younger Water sign coming into your life that is significant for you. Um, this is an emotional offer though. So again, I'm trying to stay away from love, but it can de it can definitely be like a new a new relationship or something coming in for you. Um, otherwise, it's like an emotional expression. Somebody just expressing their feelings. Let's 
get one on that Knight of Cups. It doesn't have to necessarily be like a relationship. It can be like family or friends or whatever. The Three of Pentacles can have to do with a coworker. You might have a coworker that has feelings for you. Um, but this is also about teamwork, collaboration. And another one. Oh, and strength. Leo can be dealing with a Leo. Um, but with strength here, this is you just kind of getting past all this and coming out on top, getting your confidence back, getting your strength back. Um, kind of like learning patience and learning to kind of keep yourself calm. All right, guys, let's see if I have any other additional messages for you here. All right, additional messages for Aries. Additional messages for Aries. What do we have? The Princess of Summer. So this is the Page of Cups. A new relationship or emotional experience, invitations to social events, a compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. So the Page of Cups, again, an emotional offer, an emotional message, can be an apology, um, can be a child, a water sign child in your life. The Ace of Spring is the Ace of Wands. Nice. So this is a new beginning. This is a new passionate beginning with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Wands can definitely be love related or this is just like something that you're passionate about, like a new idea, a new creative pursuit. It's time to take action, be fearless, and happily pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. So if this is like a job opportunity for you, it's going to be something that you're really into, something that you're really passionate about. It's not going to be something that bores you. All right. And the Ten of Summer is the Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh. Okay. Again, this looks really good for love, if that's your thing. An emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, people you can trust. So that is that Ten of Cups, happy home, happy family. Um fairy tale ending. So this is all really good stuff, guys. Okay. Um, I have to say too, with the ace, ace of wands and the page of cups and the 10 of cups here, it can also indicate the birth of a child, not necessarily yours could be just one in your family or something. Okay. All right. You guys take care.